government uh, gets an opportunity uh, to report back to the nation as to what <coughs> the government has been doing over the year, particularly following what we had said we are going to do, that we committed ourselves to do <coughs> uh, in the last year. Uh, firstly, <coughs> we would want uh, to see South Africa uh, reconcile, unite, <coughs> working together to press even harder for unity and working together as South Africa, as a country. We fought hard to get our freedom and it is important <coughs> that now that we are free of a good constitution of democracy, we must strengthen it, we must defend it, we must continue preaching <coughs> unity and be patriotic mm -hmm. as you are to work hard to develop South Africa to prosperity. For us to achieve that, we would need to work together in order to achieve that. To us, that has been a very important message of the cohesion of <coughs> our nation. Key message indeed. Uh, so that South Africa does not, in a sense, behave as if we are at war with one another, but rather as a family, as a nation, united in the quest to move forward. Second, <coughs> as you know, the issue of the economy is a challenge that has faced us for centuries and it continues to face us. I think the key question is what do we do? We have 22 years that we have been in democracy, but people will be telling you that the gap between the poor and the rich is widening. Now that is not the direction we want to take. We want, in, in, in keeping with what uh, I just said or are stood for, we want the country to move forward. We want to get rid of the three challenges that face us. <clears throat> Poverty, inequality, and unemployment. And these are critical challenges that if we have not resolved them, we have not resolved the issue of freedom. <clears throat> and therefore, it has become absolutely important as to what is it that we will do in order to achieve uh, <clears throat> Prosperity. Now, if we are to achieve that, we have got to take very specific uh, decisions. What is that we need to do differently from what we have been doing in the last 20 years? <coughs> because we have tried our level best, but it is clear that the challenges continue at the economic level. It is therefore important for us to say what, how do we make our policies work? effectively. That is the message we're trying to put across. But of course, again, we were saying there is an issue that is important to the nation that has a very serious historic kind of background, the land question. Now, can we sit with the land <coughs> that is so skewed in terms of who controls it? And, and therefore, we're saying, let's just address the question of the land and ensure that we are able to deal with that question. Now, if we deal with these, just leaving many other issues, we would actually be dealing with the fundamental areas that will help us to change completely. And, and, and we believe that it is high time, from the ruling party <coughs> to the government, that South Africans must look at this issue in a new way. So we are saying this country can no longer look away from this critical issue. We need to look at them, deal with them, so that we can have a harmonious kind of relationship that we could have in our country.